Oh, here they go. They're still playing. Oh, I see, and the man who stole Beezy's haircut, Mr. Tun. <laughs> A lot of stuff has happened over the last couple of days, Watchers. of course, but this is a new day, a new game, and a new opportunity Watchers. for players to try and make a name for themselves and start the season off right. Yeah, Florida was a nice little start themselves last night. Of course, a, a bit of a wacky game. We got the pleasure of commentating that one, and I went to bed quite delirious, it has to be said. But nonetheless, a win is a win. They'll be happy with it. And now looking for a win on this rotation. Skunk will shut that down. We'll not find Skunk a on the AR, man. Already rotation know. over already towards know they P2 start to come in. Of course, Optic starting on the more oh, official no side, even though starting heading over towards the cantina and they got a little lead as well as we head over and that's it the same thing for optic they can hold this against them as well and that's dashy with an incredible shot staying alive is going to cause problem for the mutineers they're not going to be able to find them as three of them go down as well did he not see it i don't think he did and Vigor will eventually get it in a little bit of scrap time but at the moment optic standing happy they have control of the next half point they have the spawns just going to keep up the slaying and they're in a very good position i like that from bruce that just controlling that side of the map, making sure that Florida have to then come chase him. It just delays this push that is now coming in. Shotsy with the shots over towards the palm pots, and there's an old phone down. Brilliantly done by the side of Optic Texas. Ooh, That's going to be plenty of time falling their way. Team, now just allowed to push up the map ever so slightly and slow down that push once more. So they're still holding very, very strong. Dashy making sure nobody coming through tunnel. The last remaining push really is going to be for them through back alley, but they don't want to put too much pressure on. But keep it on that mini map, Illy may cause them to chain this if they continue to push this pressure away they're doing just at the moment one last fight going down of course scump is going to win it and optic is set up for next they are looking to push this advantage even further beyond yeah. that's a good gunfight win though you do have numbers here to the florida mutineers rotation, rotation round could have been too many players from the side of optic texas and florida mutineers will lock this rotation this. in the final five seconds over towards p2 starting to tick over towards optic and it's about a 60 to 12 point game now look at the pinch that's been set up here. I think Florida will probably be aware. The spawn came in from Major Mania pretty close to the hill. So they know a pinch is coming. He's sitting here watching it. Shotzi will be the first to fall. And Illy's going to start flying in here in a second as well. I think that's a streak coming in. It's not done very much, but distract as Illy will find one towards the back. Scum towards the front. And it's an all-out firefight towards this front side. Vico's still alive and kicking. Doesn't have any teammates left alone. Hard job here, Bryce. It is, but Shotzi is more than equal to it. Two flying into that hill as well. Major Maniacs got stun checked there as well. He won't be able to put the pressure on he was hoping for. Don't have a card, but he knows the player's going to be there. Shotzi is holding it down again. And it's going to be Optic continuing to put the pressure on with the slaying. And Shotzi again oh, jumping through. Show. He is 11 and 3 right now and on a four streak. Yeah, he's having a hellish start to the game and has to be stead. This time around, though, it is going to be Florida Mutineers first to the new hill. Setting themselves up in a position What's so that? they can't be pushed through this cantina side a little shoulder from scump information gained hunting down havoc as quickly as they can pinch starting to slowly oh, be set up and he's just unfortunately being caught with his pants down scump dashy combining well this is absolutely flawless so far there's your break it's as clean as a whistle pricey of the texas starting to walk away with this one yeah, Major Maniac the only player causing a bit of problem here for Optic, and he's still alive. And it means they can't get effectively across to where they want to be, and that has allowed the Mutineers to up. get back into position. Put themselves inside. And Barbershop's still under their control, just about some way, somehow. Pickle trying to stay alive, does find one. Can he find a second and a dashy as well? The shots are there. The wow. final kill, although oh. not going to be there. Dashy knows he's reloading. He'll start the rush. But look at the rotation coming in. It has to be said for the Florida Mutineers there. Things were looking pretty grim, but they stopped the bleeding ever so slightly. Rotation belongs to them as well as we head yeah, towards the end, towards P5. Good. Starting to lock this one in towards the courtyard. These next couple of gunfights are so important. There's three for Brack on the transition. Fantastically Please, done. Back. And this is a perfect opportunity for Mutineers to try and close that gap. It's about 50 or so. It may well be less than that after this hill. Scott Frosty, if you can see anything as well, but the Mutineers are locked in. This is not an easy break for them. There's Damn. just too many guns in the way. Optic all go down. Right. We'll have to spawn back up and figure this one out from a different angle. Already though, they're trying to push this one out. Illy takes down the first player. Will Optic push through the little cut? That mid cut is a dangerous proposition. Oh. Goes for as well, and he does manage to get vehicle, but there's just not enough Optic players there to convince 
anything is going to change. Brack with a five streak as well. We're off to the next set of rotations. Hopefully, Optic can do a bit better. Oh, this is a big win. The spawn outs start to come in. When it comes down to Mono Warfare 2, if you are in control of the hill and you can't spawn there, you are then forced to spawn over towards next. That's why we've seen these hills start to get changed. Florida Mutineers with a perfect opportunity to do so here. Yeah, Vico may be a little bit overzealous with so that push, weird, but Mutineers have a couple of players here trying to disrupt what is looking like a potential rotation for Optic Texas. Havoc. We'll find one. Needs a little bit of help, though. He's not going to get it quite yet. As Vico will then come in for the trade. He's in and around the hard point. They have broken through, but split spawns coming across the board here could get a bit chaotic. Oh, to see you can find it. He's found Dashy as well. I think he knows about that second player. He is waiting for Scump. Scump though, holding down and giving it a kill as well. Vico tries to get in. Yeah, Eventually, cool. will get that headshot nailed through. Thirty seconds here remaining okay. on this hill. Okay, the will have the better numbers, but they don't have a shot. Sees who tries to break in. And it hasn't worked out for Optic yet, as the Florida Muneers will go into the lead. And these last two hills have been really profitable for the side of Florida. People trying to stay alive, too light up, oh, not gonna happen. Scump will be there for the trade, 15 seconds to play with. Rotation now, coming on over towards P7. It's gonna be Florida Muneers that get the benefit of that spawn once again. If you push this late, the team who are in control of the spawn and the majority of the time this gonna get a spawn a for you. It's a bit of a pinch setting up by the side of Optic Texas, though. You need to start moving. Oh, wait, not blue is really the optimum situation here, but you need to start winning some gunfights. That's three that go Florida's way. An elite change in route here as well. 150 to 135, Florida. Good time on the board here. Yeah. Just trying to be careful here. Optic trying to find any sort of gap, but Major Maniac is closing the door in their face. Shotty eventually finding Brack Dashy trying to stay alive. Just contesting for now, keeping this neutral while they're in the worst position. Pressure will come his way as Vico has found two as well. Really just changed. Actually, eventually going to find Major Maniac does a huge amount of work for it, hoping for reinforcement from his teammates. Vico have an hell of a game at 17 and 12. Will eventually fall. Optic will get themselves inside the point. Ooh. As we head into another rotation of hills. They really changed all that together. Though, so they'll try and keep them off it. That 12 points may well be crucial towards the end of the game. They only lost yesterday's half point on Bacardo yeah. by 13 points. Yeah, Every single one counts. Rotations coming in P2 over towards this next there. set of rotations, though, and, well, it's going to be the side. The Florida Mutant is in the more prime position when it does come down towards P2, and they're in the lead, heading into the second set of rotations as well. Yeah, the lead is slight but real, and you can see at the moment both teams fight for positioning around P1. Like Don't expect 20, a ton of time percent. on this hill in the second rotation. It's going to be more about who can put that pressure on towards Cantina, who can get in there and try to fit these spawns out for next, and it's going to oh. be shot with a huge kill. He's now going to be a problem for the Mutineers. They are going to reinforce through that back alley and take pressure off of P1. It's a good position, but Shotzi is still going to be alone. Uh, One of the key rotational players in the game, it has to be said. You'll see him really light things up throughout the air, I would say. We Jesus. expect it to come from him, but the smart plays, the sneaky plays, nobody really does it better. Doesn't necessarily hey, work really out that time around. Back up, bro. P2. Control very much there for the side of Florida Mutineers, and that is maybe an overstep by the side of Major Maniac. Now there can be a pinch. Start to get set up. Try and get a wait, weird wait, angle wait, on top of the wall. Doing? That's gonna be the play, but the pinch is not what's gonna happen. It's gonna be a four-man push to the alley of Barbie Barbershop. And it hasn't worked out so far, Bryce. Two kills for Brack. Our scump has managed to get one back, and he's hopefully gonna team up with Shotzi here and do something to alleviate the pressure. Uh, the Mutineers are in such a good position though. They just have more numbers. Scum at the top of the stairs, trying to fight for it. Hasn't worked out for him. It the top gets one around. kill. That gives them an opening, an opportunity yep, to break this rotating. one. And with Dashy getting that second kill, Optic can finally put the pressure on. 30 seconds remaining on this P2. Keep an eye on players starting to rotate. Florida getting the close spawn though, so they want a little bit more of this one. You've got to be careful not to overcommit, but it is of an overcommitment kind of if you up. win the gunfights. The answer is no. 15 seconds to play for here. It's only Shotzi who can really slow this down. Rotation belongs to Florida. Lee and they got the belongs rotation to Florida. Too. belongs to Florida. Everything working out in their favor at the moment. Yeah, I think that's one of Optic's biggest failings maybe on this map. They haven't won as many rotations as they would like to. But with Florida set up last time around, it's been a very powerful hill for them. Shotzi, though, with one kill. Havoc trying to stay alive. Vehicle and Shotzi combining for three. And only Brack can hide here at the top. They're probably going to be looking for him. They good figured break, it out man. as well. Good, takes break. him down. It's been a quick and effective break from Optic Gaming. And they, now they, they are in a position to take that. this lead and push them into lethal range. It's a wonderful break, but Shotzi gets through just far too freely. Nobody from the side of the Florida Mutineers concentrating on the back alley, and that's where they get punished from. 
Well, he finds two on the break in and those trophies are really going to slow things down here for the side of the florida mutineers this is a crucial map now for optic texas we know how good florida were yesterday in search and destroy it'll be a hell of a scalp if they can take mercado here map number one not going to happen though for the florida mutineers specifically on, on this hill bronze, it's a chunky little lead for the side now. of texas now as we Every head hill. back over towards cantina but we're going upstairs oh, oh. oh good, shit, ti good timing bro dive straight through can they manage to work this out here? Because that is an incredible break. If they can hold oh, this off as well, they could be able to change it. The pressure now is going to be on the Florida Mutineers. Optic have done just enough. Shots to get another kill. Scum going down the back, and it's not going to be able to huge. do anything but get two kills. And Scum clears Scum them out. Huge, and that is That's outrageous. Good. The King has just broken the hill. He's on a five streak. They are now in position to Italy, finish this bro. game. Shots to you on a six as well. Ten seconds for Florida to get there some way, somehow towards the it barbershop. Just, shot just got to hit it. And Dashi is ready oh, and huge, waiting. Man, one more Push player up. who can get there. I don't know if it's going to happen. Shotzi locks it down. Wow. That's an optic. Texas map number one win. It didn't look good for some of those rotations. It didn't. They kept losing rotations. Man, but apparently, good, 